mama. I finally understand for a woman it ain't easy trying to raise a man. You always was committed. A poor single mother on welfare. All right, we back. Play it, T, that's me. Y'all like that? Nah, y'all like that look? That little combination? You know what I'm saying? Y'all like that, right? I don't get hit with that, all right? All right, now right now, like I said at the onset of the show, I got help. Yeah. I got big time help, man. Yeah. I'm talking about champion in the house. Yeah. Hold on, now, hold up. Champion in the United States Army. Yeah. 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 That's not an easy feat. Yeah. Not an easy feat. Yeah. I'm going to actually do it, have to say, who are you? Know? <laughs> Y'all watch all the military movies, they be like, who are I wonder if you do that, we can get a ring, who are you know what I'm saying? Jamal Robinson! Yeah. While a lot of, one thing people may not know, or they may know, that you graduated from an, a prestige military academy. Would you like to say the name? Right, I'm a 2010 uh, graduate of West Point. West Point! Once I went in the military my sophomore year, once I came in, I was committed to do year in, high in, in college at West Point, you have to do a pay an obligation of five years anyway. So I, once I stepped in the class my first day, my sophomore year, I was already locked in to do those five years. And I, and I was willing to do that. With the training they put me through, the education they didn't, and instilled in me, I'm confident that I can do whatever needs to be done. Now take me to the beginning, though, to before you even attended West Point. Okay. You know, how did that come about? I mean, were you seeking West Point out? Were, were you seeking military service or service to the Honestly, country? I would say West Point, it found me, honestly. Of course, it was a blessing in itself, but I went to Glenville High School, 2004 yeah. graduate. Oh, yeah, I was, um, I played. <laughs> I played football there, and um, football kind of led me to get there. You know, I um, ended up playing football at West Point, so that attracted, you know, um, attention. Yes, he was. Ted Ginn, and then Ted Ginn Jr. was my quarterback also. Wow. Y'all know Ted Ginn and Ted Ginn uh, Jr., right? Uh, now, did Ted Ginn uh, Sr. know of your plans to go to West Point? And correct. Did, did he encourage you? He did. He encouraged me very much, so he, he really wants the, the one that really pushed me to go, the wow. 10. Just, just step out the box a little bit and do something different. What, like, like, real briefly, what were some of the things he might have said to you to encourage you? Well, hey, this hasn't been done, man. <laughs> it's just, just as simple as that. This hasn't been done. This is big. This is a great thing. It's a great opportunity. You could change a lot, you know, just giving back and, and being able to tell my story to kids growing up and stuff, what I done went through and what I done seen. He, he, he laid out that vision for me. You know, and I and I bought into it, and I'm so glad I did. Okay, work. Yeah, give it up. Right. Give it up. Now, now, were, were, mm -hmm. were, were you into boxing at that time when you were at Greenville and that thing? And of course, I started boxing at seven years old. I was at Salvation Army on 59th and Huff. So I was doing it way before even football. But when high school came around, I just ended up being, you know, a pretty good athlete at football also. So I kind of stepped away from boxing. For a little bit, but once I was at West Point, I went down with an injury, and I just wanted to join the boxing team just to just to help out, you know, just to be a part. Wow. Me being a competitor, <laughs> I end up exactly, I yeah exactly. I went and going in there, and I ended up making it to the collegiate national championship my last my senior year at West Point. I was Pretty kidding with Jamal, you know, a few days ago, and I was asking, would he step in the ring with the likes of Roy Jones, which is uh inspiration of yours, right? Correct, correct, correct. He didn't have no problems. <laughs> you know, really huge ego. Now, I can't attest, before we went to the break, he was saying, you know, a lot of people have their own reservations about certain reasons why America may prosecute a war. But when you're a soldier, you have no time to think about that. You, can, you only have time to do what you need to do as a soldier. So I can't commend that, and I can't say that's true. Now, what I want to ask you now, when you became, what year did you become champ? Two. Uh, well, this year um, I was competed in the All Army tournament, and they pretty much uh, deemed me as they wanted me to represent the Army this year uh, in the USA Nationals. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Now we know a couple of other guys that's going to the Nationals: Zeddy Adams, Thomas Matisse. You know, we got we got help, man. Now we Jamal Robinson. Our Cleveland is on the map. <laughs> yeah. Now, a question was posed to you. Cleveland got some pretty rough and tough characters. Oh, yeah. 
and you being in the military, you been fighting through the ranks. Can you attest to that? Oh yeah, I believe so. Uh, coming from Cleveland, this is the hardest place. This is the hardest region in the country to come from as far as boxing. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Now, <laughs> right some, here. some may say Philadelphia, some may say New York or Charlotte. My guy says Cleveland. You know, a study came out. We was the most uh, internet savvy, but now according to Maul, we some pretty good. We, we, that's coming. We, we we pretty good fighters too, so we'll be on the internet at one point. In the next point, we might punch you in the face. You know, that that's just how that how goes. Proud you know, are you, man, to to be symbolic of representing such a prestigious, profound organization such as the United States military. Well, of course, I'm proud of that. You know, I have a lot of friends that graduated with me from West Point. That's that's overseas right now. That's, that's fighting for our freedom. Some of the you know the the simple things in life we you know, take for granted right now. It's a guy over there right now with a 90-pound rook on his back walking around the desert for us to be here. You right. know what I mean? So I take great, you know, pride and respect for that. For that. Now, yeah. how, how did you feel when you got wind that uh, Osama bin Laden was, you know, <laughs> quote, quote, unquote, captured and killed? <laughs> Do I even have to say? <laughs> Come on. Were you a stat? You, oh you, yeah, you definitely. Stat? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad now, that was uh, taken care what, of. What regiment are you in? I'm in uh, the 427 uh, FA Battalion. Now those guys Fort are Blitz really Texas. supportive of you. Oh yeah, and definitely. Proud of what you accomplished. Mm -hmm. That's right why there. I'm here now. I'm here on leave. They gave me off time to come back and train before I went out to Colorado to train. So they're very supportive, and I thank them for that. Now, when you're going through training, right? Okay. And, and, and preparing for fights, you know, and you really got to focus on your fight. I mean, how do you balance your, your daily military objective with, you know, with your training and staying focused on winning the fight, but also having to stay focused as a soldier? Well, one thing I'll say, West Point, you know, West Point threw the kitchen sink, so to speak. So it prepared me mentally, physically, how to time manage, you know what I mean, put what's, what's important, what put what's important first, and and take care of business. So at the end of the day, a soldier is an athlete anyway, you know. So you're going to train as a soldier anyway to be physically fit. So I'm just taking it a little bit more to that next level. Now, how can they stay uh, abreast to your fights? Because uh, mm -hmm. dealing in the military, mm -hmm. I, I believe you fight all over the world, right? Correct. So um, do they put those fights on the web? They do. They have uh, something called the PentagonChannel.com where you can view um, the, the fights of all, all army forces, uh, boxing, uh, all kinds of fights, the shows they, the army puts on around the country. You can check it out on Pentagon, uh, PentagonFederal.com. Next few years, what do you see for Jamal Robinson as far as a boxing career? As far as, a, I, you know, first of all, I'm blessed to be here, first of all, you know, in the position that I'm in now. Of course, yeah, thank you, appreciate that. You know, of course I want to, you know, go far as the Olympics, you know, that's a, a you focal point. You want to do point. the Olympics? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's a focal point right now that I, that I hope I can reach. You know what I mean? I believe in myself that I can do it from Cleveland, Ohio. Being a West Point graduate, I done, I done been through the eyes. You know what I mean? So I really feel like I can do that and accomplish that. Give it up, Jamal Robinson. I told you I got help. Yeah, we be back. Collab on the track, Don Crucifix, Eric Tola, Erica Tola. Hollywood in the hood. Yeah.